So Dark Souls 3 has a max level of 802. In order to get to that stage from level 1, we need to farm a total of 2,634,163,943 souls. The best bet to reaching the max level is reaching the max NG difficulty, which is NG plus 6. Along your way towards NG plus 6, you will be accumulating a lot of souls. You can use that to level up to around level 200. Make sure you have picked up the Rapport Pyromancy that you can buy from Carla by giving her the Quilana Pyromancy Tome found in the Smoldering Lake. You will also need to grab a pyromancy flame by saving Cornix in the undead settlement and he will hand it to you after you talk to him. Next you will acquire a chaos dagger, buy a dagger, get it to plus 10, fuse it with a chaos gem. Chaos gem can drop from the crystal lizard in the grand archive. We need this item throughout the game for criticals and repose. It's at 30 intelligence and 30 faith. It deals the most multiplicative damage to backstabs and parries. Symbol of avarice, covetous silver serpent ring plus 3, shield of want, mendicant star, grand archives bonfire. You'll notice the rings selection that I've got and they are there for a reason. Sun Princess Ring to ease the health damage from the symbol of avarice. Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Enemies don't aggro on you when you walk behind them making your life much easier during this farm. And we've got the Hornet Ring to maximize critical damage. Each run of these wing knights yields around 280,000 souls netting you 10 million souls per hour. This is how we want to be farming till level 500. After that the diminishing return becomes ridiculous. At this point you'll want to be spending the next 100 hours of gameplay speed running the main story, getting through those NG cycles to obtain the last 300 levels required from Yol. Now you can truly say you have beaten Dark Souls 3.